Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. We enjoy a little less heat and humidity going into last night and then early today, but that high humidity beginning to build back again, and that's going to be the story through the weekend. But big changes on the way for next week. Highs today weren't too bad, running at about uh, well, mid-80s across uh, the area, but that humidity was borderline muggy for much of the day, and it will be a little bit higher uh, tomorrow. Live first warning Doppler's all dry, but as we head through Friday, we will see at least a few showers and thunder showers developing. And here's a live view from downtown Owens. It's our roofclaim.com tower camera looking down on the riverfront. And there's the Evansville Riverfront from our superior ag tower camera on a warm September evening. Certainly not by summer standards, it wouldn't be all that bad. But considering our average low is now uh, below 60, 73 here at 10 o'clock is a bit warm, especially with a dew point of 67, despite a northeast wind at 3 miles per hour. Temperatures upper 60s to low 70s. We should settle into the mid 60s by sunup tomorrow morning with some patchy fog, but it shouldn't be as thick or as widespread as it was in western. Kentucky earlier this morning. Well, we still have a lot of tropical moisture in the southeast. The remnants of Nicholas still spinning around here where it's going to just fall apart or continue to do so over the next couple of days. But eventually some of this moisture, this tropical uh, moisture will be pulled northward by an upper level low that's spinning here in the uh, southern plains. And that's going to gradually increase our rain chances from south to north as we head through the weekend. And then the big push is going to be early next week ahead of a strong cold front due through here late on Tuesday. But for tonight, uh, we're mainly clear right now. A few clouds will probably come in from the southwest or develop overhead uh, during the overnight hours. So lows will be somewhere in the mid 60s as we start off our Friday, which will be featuring more of a mix of sun and clouds across the area. It'll be a little more humid. Temperatures are about the same as today, topping out in the low to mid 80s with a few showers and thunder showers developing. Don't think there'll be a big problem for week five of home team Friday. Can't rule out a shower at a stadium or two, but right now cautiously optimistic that the evening will be dry, but starting to get a consistent signal that we could see our rain chances pick up late tomorrow night through the early morning hours on Saturday, especially over western Kentucky. The second run we've seen with Future Tracker really increasing the showers to the south of the river uh, during the pre dawn hours Saturday. Another model that just came in is doing the same thing. But even though the rain kind of ramps up uh, very early Saturday as we see the sun come up, a lot of these showers will quickly fade away and most of the day won't be all that wet with just a mix of southern clouds and a few showers and thunder showers lingering. And then as we head into Sunday, the pattern kind of holds. You can see that moisture trying to come up from the south, so we'll have some scattered showers and thunder showers around, perhaps picking up late in the afternoon and evening with uh, still muggy air and high temperatures again in the mid-80s. So overnight, partly cloudy, be on the warm side with some patchy fog, mid-60s, and then tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds, a little more humid, a few showers and thunder showers developing, low to mid-80s, and then for your weekend, it's going to be a warm and humid one with highs of 86. Right now, 25 to 40 percent chance of for some showers and thunder showers more early Saturday and then again during the heat of the day Sunday afternoon into Sunday night and then next week we have two weather aware days for a better than 50 50 chance of rain that takes the heat down to around 80 but the humidity sticks around the cold front is coming through late Tuesday probably a line of showers and storms with that and behind it it dries out and it looks like our first taste of real autumn air arriving for Wednesday and Thursday of next week with highs in the mid 70s and by Thursday morning, we're looking at lows around 50. So that's going to be a refreshing day. Very refreshing. Yeah. All right. No complaints. All right. Thank you, Wayne.